Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, tap the bell, and give this video a thumbs up. So there's been a fair bit of rain overnight, which is no bad thing. So wet day jobs today. This morning, I'm in the workshop doing an oil change and a service on the old Ford 7710. So just changed the oil and the oil filter. I thought I had the GoPro running. It was on my head, but I don't think I pressed the button. Um, so I'll just show you guys how easy everything is on these old Fords. Obviously there's the sump plug there and there's the filter. So everything's sort of on the side. I don't have to crawl under it or anything. So I've already done an oil change. Well, I haven't put the new oil in, but I've, 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 I've dropped the old oil and changed the filter just ever so simply. Brilliant, so so easy on uh, on this old girl. So yeah, just a bit silly <laughs> that I wasn't filming that bit, but uh, fairly fairly simple job. I think you know what I've done. Uh, I'm going to get some uh, new oil um, in now. So I'm using Shell Rimula engine oil. So I think I've got a funnel somewhere, might be a bit easier. <laughs> I'll say funnel, it's a bottle. This is my uh, greatest invention. From memory, it holds about eight liters, I think. A little on the full side, but that's fine. It's got to fill the filter up as well. So I'll just get the engine running for a minute and then I'll tip it again. Spot on. So we actually had a bit of a diesel leak on this. Uh, I'll just show you where this juby clip is here on this pipe. There's a bit of rubber there that is split, so we, we cut that and shortened it and put the juby clip back on. And that seems to have fixed the leak. The only problem is uh, when we did that, I took off, well, I, un I, I, I did up the tap, the fuel, the main fuel tap. So obviously then it wouldn't uh, all come out when we did the job. But unfortunately, when I went to uh, open it back up, it sheared because it obviously gone a bit, a bit weak. So right now, the main fuel tank, there's two fuel tanks on this. There's a top and bottom. The top one is obviously the main one. The feed from the top one down to the bottom is cut off now. So it's going to need a new fuel tap which means siphoning out all the fuel in the top tank, which unfortunately is, well, it's nearly full, <laughs> of course. So at some point that's gonna be siphoned out so we can take the old tap off and put a new one on. So right now it was only running on the second tank. So that's a bit of a job, but it's just one of those things. It just sheared off when I uh, went to do it back up. So um, not do it back up, to, to, to undo it again, to open it up again, but there you go, one of those things. So I'm gonna blow out the air filter now, I think. Um, carry on getting it sort of serviced up, but there is that one job to do on it another day. I've obviously got to order the bit in, uh, the fuel tap, and uh, siphon the fuel out, which isn't gonna be uh, particularly easy. Right, the chicken's come to see me. It's not dinner time yet, mate. Just give her a bit of a grease up.
So that's a good job done. I haven't done the fuel filter. I'm gonna do that when uh, we come to do the fuel tap. See that little leak we had, that little diesel leak, sort of, it was only sort of a five minute job to put that right. But obviously it's led to a, sort of a, a bigger issue. So that's gonna be a bit awkward sorting out um, the, uh, the fuel tap. But uh, there we go. And speaking of leaks, we have a bit of a problem with our JCB. Uh, Less than one year old, and there's a bit of a leak. And we've noticed that it's a bit wet under here on both sides, mainly this side, I think. We had the uh, JCB guys out earlier this week, and they think, from looking underneath, the hydraulic oil tank, which is obviously welded to the, the main body of the machine, the weld. On the weld, the paint's sort of peeling away a little bit and there's some rust forming as well. So considering this is less than 12 months old, it's not that good that the paint's coming away on the weld and the weld probably wasn't that good to begin with. Um, so we're waiting to hear back for our best to, uh, to move forward with it. It's only a little leak, it's just sort of seeping through ever so slightly. So obviously I can still use it, but yeah, no, it's uh, <laughs> for uh, a machine that's less than a year old, can't, uh, can't really say I'm too pleased with that, but um, one of those things. Um, That's why sometimes the older the older kit's better. Obviously, you get leaks and stuff on on the old kit, probably probably more so, but um, more easily fixable. That's just my opinion. Anyway, I probably contradict myself a little bit when I say about the old kit because um, I think I mentioned in my last video how we might consider getting a new case Puma on demo this summer. But um, yeah, it does make you wonder with this new kit. Um, it's not the first time I've heard about JCB and their welds, but um, one of those things. Um, I am thinking about doing a review on this, uh, seeing as we've had it nearly a year, I'll do a one year review. There's a few things I really do like about it. So uh, look out for that one, I'll probably do a video on that soon. But anyway, right now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load a bit more straw up into the trailer. Um, there's one more load, I think, um, of straw left over from lambing time that's ready to, uh, take over to farm two where we're uh, having a pile over there so yeah i'm going to uh, jump in the loader now and uh, load up the trailer
seeing as it stopped raining, they actually said it was going to rain all day and it sort of stopped at about 11 o'clock. But seeing as it has stopped, there's a little job I've been wanting to do for a couple of days. At the weekend, my kids did a little art project, which resulted in a big thank you NHS sign. Now, I'm super proud of them for that. I think they did a fantastic job. I know it's only a little thing, um, but I want to go and hang that now on one of our field gates near the road so everybody can see it. It's our, our way of saying thank you. I know it's not much, but the fact that the kids did it, I think it's brilliant. Cable dies, screwdriver, punch some holes, and the dog. He can come with me for a little spin. <laughs> Good boy. Right, calm down. Over you get. Over you get. Good boy. Well, I think they should be proud of themselves for that one. It looks really good and people will see it as they come past and when they stop at the junction as well. So yeah, really, really good. Just gonna go and change a electric fence battery. Put some electric cable, well, electric wire along our new post rail fence near the garden um, just to stop the horses rubbing up against it and breaking it This bit along here, it's only been up uh, since the summer. I didn't want the horses breaking it. Just doing my afternoon rounds, checking on the sheep. Down the bed. Let's go for a bit of a walk. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a nice big thumbs up. Um, you can follow me on social media as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that. The links are in the description below. So yeah, I hope everybody has a good weekend. Stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.